While sorting through videos, I was thinking about how much of a big fan I was of Lost Media. And well, since I'm a sports channel, it made a lot of sense to do a video about it. So I specifically wanted to do one for the NBA. And what I found out is that there was a good amount of things that were lost in the NBA media circle. So I kind of thought I should put that media into life. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. The good thing about the Lost Media Archive is that it's a good and efficient way to find Lost Media. The simple memory of thinking about something that you might have remembered when you were younger could go a long way into finding Lost Media. So in turn, that kind of helps a lot of the Lost Media to be found. So I want to note that if you get interested in Lost Media the way I did, be sure to go to the Lost Media Wiki and maybe you'll find videos that you can maybe help people on with Lost Media. The first NBA Lost Media I was able to find was a Cartoon Network show that aired in the early 2010s. This was back when the NBA was doing super well in ratings and the casual fan base was definitely still tuned in. Also at the time, Cartoon Network was airing a lot of in real life shows at the time. So I'm not entirely sure, but it might've had something to do with this type of show. The show was called NBA Run It Back and it was sort of just a show about showing NBA highlights. Welcome back! Derrick Rose stole the highlights with those crazy jams. But these two teams reached the Eastern Conference Finals by stealing from their opponents. Mario Chalmers came off the bench for Miami and sparked an early run with some quick hands and a trio of steals. Easy buckets start at the defensive end, and the best way to get in the open floor is a quick swipe of the ball handler. We got the keys to becoming a shutdown defender like Mario and our technique of the week. This week, it's the art of stealing the ball. The surest method of stopping your opponent is to take the pill away, whether by using fast hands in a one-on-one -on -one situation or your sixth sense to intercept the pass. A steal not only stops your opponent from scoring, but often leads to fast break points for your team. Check out There's a couple clips online about the show. But the thing about how this is lost media is that all of the episodes of this series is gone. Obviously, aside from a few short clips, that's all you're able to see of this show now. Most of this show's episodes ran all the way from the regular season to the conference finals of that year. But besides those clips, the search for this lost media has kinda gone dead. So if anybody has any recordings of these episodes, or any connections with Cartoon Network to maybe release the episodes, I'll leave the link in the description so you can help this person out. Moving on to something that has been lost media for decades, a lot of NBA fans may know this one. Will Chamberlain is known as one of the greatest players in NBA history, but most of the things he's done in the NBA has been kind of turned into a myth. The reason why that is, is because most of it hasn't been seen. Most of Wilt's stats have only been recorded or documented and never really seen in footage. And the main point of contingency comes from his 100 point game. From this person, the only thing that's been found so far is the recordings of the fourth quarter of that 100 point game. Chamberlain has 96. Six second breath, the most amazing scoring performance of all time. 
the more and more we wait for the footage the more and more i question how long will it take until we find that footage since the older the lost media gets the harder it becomes to find but since we have these small recordings to go off of maybe this can spark something to something that we can find even more about this game but i guess that's just something we'll have to see Going back to more lost media from Cartoon Network. This user was trying to find something from the 2003 NBA All-Star Game. Everybody knows about the bumpers and the commercials that came from this All-Star Game. But there's still a good amount of footage that's still lost. And what this person was trying to find was the NBA All-Star interviews. This is one of the many times that lost media was actually found. The original post was posted in 2018, but it took five years until 2023 for this post to be found. And every single one of these interviews have been uploaded to YouTube. As I kind of look at the videos, I kind of question why the NBA sort of stopped doing tie-ins like this. But I guess 2003 was a different era to how it is now. So maybe there's a difference there. <laughs> I guess I'm not really sure on that. But that just shows you that lost media can be found given the right information. And you can see that right here. Get it? Huh, huh. That's a good one, Jack. Roll. My favorite movie of all time is Blue Chips. Do you have any upcoming projects with a role for me in them? No, I don't have any movies coming up. Sorry, Kazo. That's too bad. I'll just have to catch you on the court then. Speaking of which, think you can get me some courtside seats? That could be arranged, as long as you promise not to tear up the stable sign. Because you're known for tearing up a building or two. The last lost media I have for this video is a Dennis Rodman movie. Not gonna lie, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, But I guess, let me know if y'all knew this was a thing. <laughs> It's called The Minis, and uh, yeah, I've never heard of this movie before. But anyway, this was a movie about Dennis Rodman teaming up with a bunch of dwarves to play a basketball game. How this concept was brought up, I'm not really sure. But the movie also has a video game tie-in as well. And that's what the lost media is in this case. The only thing that we know about this video game is that it had a trailer. Aside from that, there's no way of buying this video game or even emulating it which i think in this year of 2024 is kind of hard to do <laughs> but this post was posted all the way back in 2021 and there still hasn't been any sense of anyone finding it so if you know about this movie and maybe the video game it would definitely help this user into finding it Well, that's the end of this one. I actually didn't know a lot of these things had lost media. And to see that now, hopefully these things can be found. And I think it would be really cool. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. And maybe comment down below if you know any of this lost media. And I'll see you on the next one.